Hey everybody, today I got another great example of abnormal engine noises and this one is on a 2012 Ford Escape with a 2.5 liter engine in it. What it has is a knocking slash tapping noise and it sounds like it's coming from the cylinder head. In all reality, um, the problem that develops on these, on some of them, not all of them, is a crack between the cylinders. Usually cylinders two and three have the crack between them, uh, but one and two and you know, three and four have been reported also. It's not a real widespread issue, but if you do have this issue and a shop's trying to tell you they need to put a cylinder head on or cams or lifters or whatever, because they, they hear it and it sounds like an upper valve train type noise, um, you might want to take a look at this video, listen to it, and see if it sounds the same because the root cause of all this noise most likely is the cylinder block that's cracked on there. Now this noise can happen on low mileage, high mileage engines, really doesn't matter. Um, just make sure your engine oil is full, first and foremost, obviously. And then take a look at your coolant. You see how low this one is? That's a dead giveaway. You might have a head gasket issue or cylinder block cracking issue. You tend to hear it a lot more once the engine starts to heat up or is full hot. So we'll come back to it once it gets to be the full hot. It's starting to heat up, it's getting a little worse. And here's how a good one sounds. They have a, do have a slight noise to them, but the other one is obviously not normal. And you can probably hear it best now it's fully heated up and it's very distinctive noise. And it's coming from right around this area. So that's between two and three. So I'll let you listen now. Now, like I said, this kind of failure is not that common, but it is something to be aware of if you're out shopping for a used car, whether it be private party or the dealership, you need to listen to it and make sure it doesn't have this kind of fault from the get-go. If it does and you still love the vehicle, at least you might have a bargaining chip um, to get the price lowered down quite a bit because you have to do some engine work to it uh, to get it going right again. Now, if you already own one of these vehicles with a 2.5 liter and you're hearing this kind of noise, you don't have the money to fix it, the dealer won't help you, whatever the case may be, it's not a real, real big issue. Um, if you're having this problem already, you don't have to get it fixed. You're not going to necessarily break down. A lot of people have this kind of noise and it's just, they just keep driving on and there's never any issues. It just depends where the crack happens. Like this one, obviously it cracked to the point where it got close to a coolant passage and and it's, it's using coolant now, a little bit at a time, uh, whereas a lot of times they crack between the two cylinders themselves and there's, there's, there's no problems at all, it's just a noise. And you just keep driving on, it's fine. These are very durable engines uh, otherwise. So if anything, this video gives you a really good idea of what to look for, and I'm really glad that I'm doing these uh, vehicle noise uh, videos because I think it's gonna help a lot of people try to differentiate normal from abnormal noises on their Ford vehicles.